It's a day to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice while serving our country. And it's going to look a lot different this year, as we know, with social distancing in place and a lack of large events and memorials. However, this is our first holiday since phase one of reopened Florida began, so there will be some sense of normalcy. Renata DiGregorio is standing by with the impact on Memorial Day for the First Coast. Good morning. Good morning. A big part of what your holiday weekend could look like depends on where you are in downtown Jacksonville here at the hotels. They tell me they are less than half booked up, but over at the beaches overbooked busier than they've been in months. An idea of how things are going at Riverdale Inn. They're used to so few guests that being less than half full. That is really, really big. Then Memorial Day weekend comes. We have very few rooms left for this weekend. Full capacity overbooked. It's what hotel workers at the beach tell me too. Not what they say downtown. We're starting to notice a little bit of a change back to, I don't want to say normalcy because I don't know what that is anymore. At some hotels right now, it means blocked off floors, no freshly made bed because housekeeping doesn't come in until you've left. Some of them are actually adding additional things into the air handling units as well. Back at the bed and breakfast though, they say the smaller setting is comforting for families. They're to make memories. Their first time staying in an inn and they brought their daughter. I would maybe she's about 10. This morning she woke up and was like, wait, they're not bringing my breakfast in bed. <laughs> and he's like, no, no, not that kind of breakfast in bed, a bed and breakfast. This is also the first weekend short term rentals are allowed to reopen in a lot of counties. Airbnb, though, says they will ban people who have parties. That is more than 10 people. I'm Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News on your side.